Derek Lewis couldn't have asked for a worse night at the office than he had at UFC 265 on Saturday. He falls short of the interim heavyweight belt in a third round TKO loss to Surreal Gaon. Just Lewis did not show up in this fight, had nothing really to offer in there. The speed was a huge problem for him. The dynamic ability of Gon's offense just kind of tied him up and he really couldn't get anything going. A very minimal amount of output from this fight. No real big moments for Lewis in terms of connecting or anything like that. And it's certainly disappointing to have had that performance in front of his hometown crowd who was taken out of this fight pretty early when it was clear Gon had the big time upper hand. Uh, Lewis now 0-2 in UFC title fights, one of them of course being of the interim variety and you kind of have to wonder has he hit his ceiling in this heavyweight division. Being a top three, top five guy, hardly anything to be ashamed of. We know he is tied for the most knockouts in UFC history. You can go on and on about all the great things Derek Lewis has accomplished, but when you look at some of these other guys in the division who is coming along, it is going to be tricky for him to get his hands on that UFC title, but the journey most certainly not over. We know Derek Lewis is really keen to continue being active and he likes to make those paychecks. And when you look around at what needs to be next for him in this division, I see two likely options. I think you turn to Stipe Miocic and see if he is interested in competing and trying to get back on track with a win that would likely secure him a heavyweight title shot. Of course, we know Gon is going to unify the belt with Francis Ngannou and then I would imagine they are going to try to push for John Jones to face the winner of that. How long does that mean Stipe Miocic would have to sit on the sidelines if he is hoping for his next fight to be for a UFC belt? So if you're looking at it from Miocic's side, I think Lewis is a winnable fight for him. If he was able to go in there and do that, there would be no questions about him being back in the, the title discussion and getting a crack at that belt to become the three-time UFC heavyweight champ. So I think that would be the most logical matchup. But if Miocic decides he wants to sit on the sidelines, does not want to be active. If I'm Lewis, I think a rematch against the winner of the UFC 267 fight between Alexander Volkov and Marcin Tybora would be an interesting matchup. Of course, Lewis has knocked both of them out, but it was in fights where he was losing early on. Of course, the one against Volkov being an all-time great come-from-behind knockout victory. So both those guys, I imagine, would love to get some redemption on Lewis, and I think that would be a well-timed rematch. It would make sense given the divisional layout. Gives Lewis a little bit of time to recover from this loss and then he can move forward and try to get back on track.